Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you another video about the Canon XA40 uh, professional camcorder. This is the delightful pro camcorder I picked up about, I think six weeks ago now. I've been using it pretty much every day since then and I really, really uh, love this device. The only criticism or negative I would say about it, and that's becoming more clear the more I shoot with it, is that the low light performance is definitely a lot, it's, it definitely suffers, uh, put it like that. If you're in, nighttime shooting conditions and you have some artificial lighting it'll do a decent job but if you don't have that you really start to get quite noisy images so if you if you have enough money to be able to afford the xa50 with that one inch sensor versus a one over 2.3 in the xa40 i would definitely say it's a worthwhile upgrade um so one of the first things i wanted to buy in terms of aftermarket stuff besides this lovely shotgun microphone was to get another battery pack so um the battery pack that this i'm going to just take it off here the battery pack it comes with is the um it doesn't actually ah it does it's bp820 and from what i read online the bp828 is interchangeable now at 7.4 volts i'm just going to see if i can get this in focus it might be a little bit tricky because i'm shooting this on a webcam and it's a 1700 uh, milliamp per hour i believe i'm not a battery expert but that's the capacity as far as i know uh, 1700 milliamp per hour uh, battery so um, I couldn't find a OEM battery for sale in my locality in Israel so I probably will get one in the summer because you uh, one thing you always run out of when you're shooting video for long periods of time is battery um, but what I did is I went on to AliExpress and I found out as I said that the it seemed to me as if the A28 or Canon actually recommend there's interchangeable product numbers for this uh, battery the A28 and the uh, A20. So this is the um, B BT A28, um, and um, so this was listed as being like basically an AliExpress knockoff of this. Now, what my understanding for non OEM batteries has been that they can't damage your camera. I may be wrong about that. Do not rely on this statement. Check that out. I've heard that they will not damage your camera, but that you might have some issues with the chip um, in other words the battery reporting its level to the circuit board of the camera so that's that is a big disadvantage uh, but it's you know it's the for there's give and take when you're buying non-oem stuff the second thing to say about this is it's a big it's a big chunky battery so this is a this capacity is 2900 milliamp per hour and it's also listed as 7.4 volts so it looks to me that they have the the copycat right just at least in terms of the voltage I'm trying again to get this guy in focus and uh, failing, but um, it's uh, 2,900 milliamp per hour uh, lithium ion. Do not store in temperatures over 60 degrees Celsius. And let me just show you a side-by-side a side -side comparison. This is the OEM battery from Canon on the right. It's the shorter one and the AliExpress battery. I'm just gonna move out of the frame for a second. So it's a decent bit longer, but to me that actually makes sense because unless you're using the OED uh, viewfinder you have room at the back so i'm gonna just um firstly slide in the oem battery here just show you how how an oem battery is supposed to work so i'm turning this guy on and it's reading out my power remaining as being 147 minutes so it's pretty close to its charging capacity up there on the top uh, top right so now I'm gonna go ahead and swap in the AliExpress battery okay so I'm putting the AliExpress battery into the camera now and it's definitely locked firmly in place now in terms of here's the side profile because as I said this guy is a bit chunkier than this so it's taken up another centimeter in terms of using the uh, viewfinder that was my main concern here so you can still actually do it even with this longer battery now my I, I can't remember I did the mathematics before uh, starting this video 2900 over 1700 I think it came to 1.6 so you're getting actually 1 160% of the battery capacity of the OEM battery so it should theoretically last a bit longer now of course the litmus test is going to be is this going to report the battery level to the camera so let's uh, go ahead and uh, find that out I haven't uh, tested this before shooting this video so this is a live test it's showing 100 no it's jump, just jumped right up there to 227 minutes from 140 so it does look as if it's reporting and the next question is can this guy be charged so let's go ahead and try that 
So I have the camera turned off now and I'm using the OEM charger from Canon. Um, and I'm gonna just go ahead now and connect it into the DC in jack here. Now what should happen when it's charging is that the red light on the opposite side should illuminate. So I've just gone ahead and connected and the red lights popped on. So it looks to me as if this is working. Um, I'm definitely going to uh, do just a little bit more research before going out and uh, using the um, non-OEM battery. I'm always going to, just as a kind of best practice, I'm I always use my OEM battery first because I do worry a little bit, but uh, assuming that the worry is unfounded, um, that looks like it works perfectly well uh, just to sort of refresh um, the essentials of this video. It's a 2900 milliampere hour battery. It's called the CAN, 4CAN BP A28. Now when these kind of knockoff companies are trying to uh, you know, um, come out with product numbers, they typically try to sort of replicate the actual. So it's BP828 and, Ca and Canon's official one is um, B T or something like that, Batmax pa uh, battery pack. It came in this box, it didn't really say a whole bunch, but how much you need to know about it, about a battery. Lithium ion, 100% more power, and uh, it just says basically uh, dispose of used batteries properly. So I'm going to give this a shot um, shooting and hope that it works out uh, well.